Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome to Tech Block. Today we are going to be doing the very first episode of possibly a recurring series on the channel, but that will all depend on whether you like this video or not and whether you want to see more of course. So at the very end of my previous video, which was my five year gaming setup transformation video, which you can check out by pressing the card in the top right hand corner right there. At the very end of that video, I asked you to submit a few of your setups to an email that I linked down below in the description of that video. And once again, I'll leave that email linked down below in the description of this video, as well as in a comment. And above that email will be a bunch of instructions that you can follow to submit your setup to me and have me review your setup on the channel and hopefully give you some feedback and tips on how you can improve your own gaming setup. So at the end of this video, let me know in the comment section down below whether you want to see more videos of me reviewing setups. And if you do want to see more videos, the show will most likely be called Setup Block, as I think that's a pretty cool show and it's appropriate for like my channel and the type of series that it's kind of going to be, where I just review setups and I give feedback on your setups. Let's jump into the first setup. Right, so the first setup right here comes from a person called Area Clear, and this is his setup. So he is 13 years old, and starting from the right hand side of his setup, he has a wonderful chair right here, which looks very, very comfortable. And I believe it's from a brand called Brozzy or Rosy. I'm not entirely sure what chair company this is, but it looks very, very comfortable. He also has a pre-built MSI PC, I think. And I'm not entirely sure if it's pre-built, but I'm assuming it is because he has an MSI desktop wallpaper right here, an MSI PC case and an MSI graphics card. So I'm assuming it's an MSI pre-built PC. But speaking of the actual PC, let's take a look at his specs. So he has an i5-7400 CPU from Intel, a 350 watt power supply, eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and a GTX 1070 from MSI, which is a very, very powerful card, especially for a 13 year old. Like, I wish I had a 1070 in my PC. That card is very, very powerful and very expensive as well. So, lucky you, dude, that PC is a beast, man. Taking a look at his monitors right here, he has two Asus VG 245HE 75Hz monitors, which look very, very nice, and you have two of them, which is pretty good, dude. Taking a look at your peripherals, you have a Corsair K55 RGB keyboard with three zone RGB lighting I believe and for your mouse you have the Logitech G Pro mouse for your audio gear you are rocking the Corsair Void RGB wireless headset which is very nice the one thing I feel like you could improve on is pick up a headset stand but not just any headset stand I can see that you're clearly a fan of Corsair so pick up the RGB Corsair headset stand and place your wonderful wireless headset on top of that and it'll look very nice maybe place the headset stand to the left of your keyboard right there and that should be a lovely place for it. Uh, you also mentioned your cable management. So for the most part, your cable management looks very, very good, apart from like a few cables here and there. So there's a cable running along the wall here from I believe what is a lamp. There is also a cable there, which I believe is like a power strip. So if I was you, I'd route this cable behind this table leg right here and then run it behind this um, table leg here as well, I guess. And that should hide that cable for you. And for the lamp, if I was you, I'd probably remove this lamp entirely or move it behind your monitors and put an RGB lamp inside of there. That'll look real cool as then your monitors will have like a glowing like RGB lamp behind them and I think that would look pretty cool. And there are some cables running behind your monitors as well, which you could fix very easily by picking up some plastic cable ties and plastic cable tie mounts. Stick the mounts behind your monitor stand and route all your cables behind your monitor stands and then you won't see any cables running down the walls from your monitors, which should fix that. But apart from your cable management needing a little bit of work here and there, your entire setup is very, very good, especially for a 13 year old. This is a beautiful setup, dude. So good job. And anything I recommend to you in this video will be linked down below in the description, including your RGB headset stand, as well as the cable management gear recommended in this video. And for any setups going forward, anything I recommend to any of you who submitted your setups, I'll leave links down below to any products that are recommended to you in the description down below. The next setup here comes from Luke and he is also 13 years old. And once again, for a 13 year old, this setup is absolutely amazing. So taking a look at his desk right here, he has the IKEA Malm desk in white. He has the IKEA LED Berg light strip behind his desk right here. For his monitor, he has a Samsung curved 24 inch monitor. And above that is a sharp 32 inch LED TV for his Xbox. For his PC, he has an i5-7400 CPU, a GTX 1060, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a CIT Dragon Free mid tower case, but he plans on upgrading to the NZXT H400i PC case, which is a very good choice. That is a wonderful PC case, I'd highly recommend it. Taking a look at your peripherals right here, you have the Cooler Master Master Keys Lite L combo for your keyboard and mouse. And for your mouse mat, you have the XYK White Gaming Mouse Pad, which looks very, very nice. And I'm very proud of you for drilling a hole 
through your mouse pad and your desk to route your keyboard and mouse wire through, which looks very, very good. Inside of the little cupboard right here, you have an Xbox One as well, which looks very, very nice. Nicely hidden away there. For your microphone, you have the Blue Snowball Ice sitting on top of a Tiger Studio Microphone Boom table arm, which is mounted right there, which looks very nice. You also have an Xbox One controller right there mounted on like a charging dock, which looks very good. And to the right of your Xbox One controller right here, you also have an Amazon Echo Dot in white, which looks very, very cool. And is your Amazon Echo Dot connected to your LED strip? That's the real question. I hope that you can control your LED strip with your Amazon Echo Dot, as that would be pretty cool. Now, you did mention to me that you are planning on selling this TV that's above your monitor right here, and you're going to be replacing it with another monitor, I'm guessing another monitor from Samsung. Now I'm not entirely sure if you're going to be mounting the monitors one on top of the other or placing the monitors side by side. Now what I recommend for you to actually get is a pair of speakers. Now you could either get a pair of RGB Logitech speakers which just got released or a pair of Razer Nomo Chroma speakers as I think they would look very nice. You have a Razer wallpaper there, maybe you're a fan of Razer, I'm not entirely sure but you could put the Razer Nomo speakers on either side of your desk as well as probably fit two Samsung curved monitors side by side and have speakers on either side of the monitors and I think that would look very very nice. Those speakers have RGB lighting and I think that would help tie your entire setup together. I'd also recommend for you to get some more RGB LED strips for your setup so you could stick one from one end of your desk to the other end of your desk and if you do end up getting a second monitor for your setup and you put both those monitors side by side consider putting an LED strip behind those two monitors as that would add some cool background lighting and it would look very nice. But apart from that, Luke, fantastic job with your setup. I can't wait to see you improve it in the future. Be sure to send me a picture once you do get your second monitor, and I hope you take my advice and put some more RGB LED strips there, and maybe pick up some RGB chroma speakers if you can. You also mentioned that you stream on Twitch now and again. I'll leave a link to his Twitch channel in the description down below, so you guys can go check it out, show him some love on his streams. You also have a Walking Dead coaster right here as well, which is very cool. I'm a big fan of the Walking Dead show as well. But apart from that, thank you very much, Luke, for submitting your setup. Let's take a look at the next one. The next setup right here comes from a person called Flame F, and this is his setup. So once again, we have a wonderful little setup right here. It started from the right-hand side of his setup. We have a chair right here from JL Comfurni in black and white, and I checked on Amazon. That chair only costs around £90, and it looks very, very comfortable. Once again, more comfortable than my chair. My chair is from GT Omega, and this chair costs around £150. But it is very, very old. It's like four years old now. It's held up really well over the years, but the comfort of the chair has been going down year after year. So um, I think this chair is due for replacement soon. But nevertheless, this is his chair. It looks very, very comfortable and it's quite cheap as well. It looks great. Take a look at his PC. He has the Intel Core i5 6400 CPU, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 HP RAM, a NVIDIA 1050 Ti, a 650 watt power supply, a 2 terabyte hard drive, a 120 gigabyte SSD for his boot drive, and he's telling us that he has a regular HP case, a regular HP motherboard, and that he's also replaced the thermal paste on his CPU with some Cooler Master thermal paste. Fantastic job there, keeping your i5 6400 CPU nice and cool with some new thermal paste. Take a look at his desk right here, he has the IKEA Mom desk. Taking a look at his peripherals right here, he has the Habit RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard, the Razer Abyssus 2000 DPI mouse that he bought from Curry's, and they're both sitting on top of the Habit Extended Mouse Mat. Take a look at his monitor, he has the Philips, I'm not even going to bother reading that model number out as it's very long, but the monitor is also overclocked to 75Hz. He also mentions that he bought the monitor from Curry's as well. And to the left of his monitor, he has the RGB headset stand from Corsair that I mentioned earlier. And on top of that headset stand, he has a Corsair Void Pro wireless headset. So very, very good choice there. A wonderful headset and a beautiful RGB headset stand paired with your wireless headset, which is thumbs up from me, dude. Good job there. The one thing you could improve on is possibly consider drilling a hole in your desk to route your keyboard wire through or do this. You could route your keyboard wire behind your monitor stand. So you could route it to the right of your keyboard and it exits out and hides away kind of like underneath your monitor stand if possible and that should hide away your keyboard wire kind of nicely that if you don't want to drill a hole take a look at the amount of like rgb you have in your setup you have an rgb keyboard an rgb headset and an rgb headset stand as well so good job there but you could probably add a little bit more rgb here and there so consider picking up a new mouse maybe possibly like an rgb mouse either from razer corsair or logitech maybe whatever mouse company you want to go with but the Razer Abyssus mouse is pretty old and I'm pretty sure it's like a pretty cheap mouse. It doesn't have RGB, which is very important in a mouse. So consider maybe upgrading to like an RGB mouse, maybe even like a wireless mouse if you're into wireless mice. There are also a bunch of pop figures sitting on top of your desk and PC case as well. So you've got a Death Trooper, you've got Wonder Woman, Captain America, you've got Tony Stark. 
and you've even got a cactus in a pot from Tesco sitting to the right of your monitor right there, adding some greenery to your setup, I guess, which is pretty cool. I can also see that you took some time and you tried to cable manage the setup, and you didn't do too bad. There are a bunch of cables in sight here, but nevertheless, you've attempted to cable manage and it doesn't look too bad. There's no cables on the floor here or anything, which is good. And you also use some Velcro cable ties to tidy up the cables running down your monitor and the cables running behind your PC as well. So good job there. I can definitely see that you've taken some time to cable manage some parts of your setup using some Velcro cable ties and possibly other methods of cable management that I don't really see here. But yeah, I can definitely see that you've attempted to cable manage your setup and you didn't do too bad either. Now, in order to improve this setup, I'd probably pick up a new keyboard and maybe even a new mouse as well, either from Corsair or Razer, as you're kind of already in their ecosystems. And if I was you, I'd also upgrade your HP case to a new PC case Preferably one with RGB lights, so maybe like an NZXT H400i. Just pop all your components in that case and your PC will look very, very nice. And if you want to, maybe even throw in like a whole roll of LED lights inside of your PC case and just watch your FPS skyrocket. I mean, that's what I do whenever I play games on my PC and the FPS isn't quite high enough. I just wrap my PC in LED strips and the FPS, oh, it goes crazy, man. I get hundreds of frames on pretty much any game I play thanks to these LED lights right here. Like, they help a lot. But in all seriousness, fantastic job with your setup flame. I really like it, and I hope that you take my advice and you upgrade your mouse, keyboard, and PC case as well. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much, Flame, for submitting your setup. If you do want to see more episodes of this show, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Submit your setups to this email right here. Be sure to read the instructions, though. And yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.